Ms. Hawkins, what you want is you want some rent and security deposit back and a whole bunch of other little things yes, from the defendant from whom you rented a room. Mr. Ayanoro, I have to ask you a couple of questions. What kind of premises do you live in? Uh, it's an apartment. How many bedrooms? Two bedrooms. Who's on the lease? Uh, my name and my wife's name. When did you move in? September 6, uh, 2016. When did you and your wife separate in what month? Uh, we are not separated. Look at me. Okay. When did you and your wife separate? Oh, that was in December. Of what year? 2017. Prior to the two of you separating because there was some sort of an altercation yes, with your wife. That's what I gather here. You were going to tell me no, 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 but it's here. Prior to you separating, she was put out of the house. Yes, ma'am. By the police. Yes, ma'am. Had you ever had a roommate there before? No, ma'am. So all the time that you did your wife work? Yes, ma'am. And did she contribute to the rent? Yes, ma'am. So after she left, you advertised for a roommate to contribute to the rent because she wasn't paying the rent anymore. Yes, ma'am. All right. I got it. Just wanted to figure it all out. And the plaintiff, Miss August, answered that ad for a roommate. On what date did you move in? December 4th, Your Honor. And your wife was gone at that time? Yes, ma'am. There came a time when your wife returned to the house. Date and month did she return to the house? Oh, uh, that was uh, December 15th. Had you gone to court with her? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Did the court allow her to re-enter the house? Yes, ma'am. So now you have two bedrooms and two women in the house because you had rented the room to her. Yes, ma'am. Before your wife returned to the house, had she ever met Miss August? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you right now that that didn't work out. Right? Are you and your wife still together? Yes, ma'am. How much rent did you pay, Miss August? $600 a month, Your Honor. And when you moved in, it was clear that you were moving in with one gentleman. He had one room. His wife was gone because I assume he told you that there was some violence involved in his yes, wife leaving. Yes, that wasn't until after I moved in, though. That's not true, Your Honor. It That's was. not true. Don't speak. That's not don't, true. Just a minute. Don't speak. When did you tell her that your wife was violent? On the 5th of December. Just a second. Okay. December 5th. Yes, ma'am. You told her that your wife had been violent, which is why she wasn't in the house. Yes, ma'am. Great. What did you tell her? I told her I'm having issues with my marriage right now, and that's why I'm renting out the room to her. And she said something that if your wife do return, oh, my, rent, my, my room still secure. I said, Just a yeah. second. Don't go into tributaries with me. You told her on December 5th I'm having some difficulties with my wife. Yes. She moved in on December 4th. That's not true. On December 5th. December 5th? Uh, Your Honor, the lease is here, fourth day of December 2017. May I see it, please? It's right there at the top. Did he tell you that the police had put out his wife? He mentioned a restraining order. He didn't tell me exactly. He just said that he had a restraining order against his wife. What he did do, Your Honor, was show me pictures of his head bursted open, bleeding. And so that was the only information or introduction that I had to his wife before she moved in. And then That's she not was... true. You say one more word, I'm going to give her exactly what she wants. Do you understand? You're annoying me. I got you. You moved out on what date? Uh, I left on, let's see, I have my timeline here. January 28th is when I texted him to tell him that the room was emptied and cleaned out. I did let him know I still had stuff in the apartment, in the kitchen, and things like that. But on the 28th is when I told him the room has been completely cleaned.